about to talk about one of the more unique A24 movies that I think is going to strike everyone a little bit differently since it deals with grieving and loss, and that is called Tuesday. This is about a mother and her teenage daughter who must confront death when it arrives in the form of an astonishing talking bird. Directed by Dana Pusick, and it stars Julia Louise Dreyfus, Arnzi Keen, and Lola Pettigrew. And... I've been pretty interested in this, but I also just found out about it like a couple weeks ago when the screener invites started going out and I said, I need to try and make time for this. They sent a link over. I watched it and I don't know how to feel about Tuesday. I think again, this is going to strike people very differently. Some people are going to really love this movie and I thought I was going to love it till about 50% of the way through. At the halfway point, I found myself losing quite a bit of interest in Tuesday, and I think that is one of the more disappointing aspects of the movie. But when it comes down to movie reviews, I do like talking about the pros first, so definitely leave your thoughts down below, hit that like and subscribe button, and again, without further ado, let's dive into this. So starting with my pros, the first thing I want to mention is the direction in here is very, very solid. Pusick does here as a director is actually one of the more intriguing aspects of it and how she represents death and loss, and specifically all the different avenues of what this film tries to go through. Now again, don't want to get into spoilers because I think that would be unfair to some of you who are very excited about this, but in primarily where the story does go it goes into a very unbelievable and weird moments but it still always hones into that same aspect of touching on grieving and loss and that's where i think the direction works but as well as so does the performances specifically from Ju julia louise dreyfus who i just i love this kind of shift in her career she started in really much just straight comedies seinfeld loved her and there was always my favorite character then jumped into veep and over the last few years, she's been kind of honing in and she's been doing dramatic comedies. For me, this is the closest thing to a drama that she's done yet, or at least that I've seen her in. And I thought she was phenomenal in this. As a mother who is about to lose her daughter, how does she deal with that? If you've ever dealt with the loss of someone or knowing that they are probably going to die, every single one of the stages of grief, mourning, and preparation is one of the Julia Louise Dreyfus goes through in this. And I think for me, the more spiritual nature of this movie is what I was actually more of a fan of, and we'll talk about that in a second. But I do also want to give a shout out to Lola Pettigrew, who plays the daughter in here, thought she was great as well. Their dynamic, their chemistry, their frustration with the situation, but as well as their frustration with what Lola's character Tuesday wants to do, it again makes sense and it's hard to go through especially if you've ever gone through someone who's in so much pain and maybe they just are ready to end it all and of course i also mentioned keen they are the voice of the bird and i thought what they did with the voice acting actually was a big aspect of what really brought to life tuesday and specifically death the parrot the bird in this film and that was one of the things that when i read the concept i was like that's interesting and while I didn't see a single trailer, I just saw posters and pictures and read the synopsis, I was fascinated to see that, oh, this is about a talking bird and the way that it represents death and goes to these people. And I liked seeing the buildup of that. I liked building up the mythology of death in here and specifically how death looks different to everyone. But the thing that I liked more about this was what they built up at first with the spiritual nature of Tuesday and specifically death and mourning. And I didn't feel like the film kept that avenue. It was weird at first, but it was somewhat believable that you could see these two going through it. And then Julia Louise Dreyfus's character makes a choice, which again is a part of the stages of grieving and mourning that I didn't like where it took it. And that's where it started to lose me. It definitely brought me back by the end of the film, but the entire midsection up until maybe the last 25% of the film is where I really started to lose interest. And that is one of the things that really disappointed me for this movie because the spiritual aspect that it starts out with, I was such a fan of. Then I see the performances and how they're dealing with this. I was such a fan of. But then it just sadly lost me within the script itself and I didn't like the choices that they started to make with certain characters. That's just me. You might disagree. Loss and grieving look so much different to other people, but Tuesday for me just didn't keep my attention and didn't latch that emotional core avenue that I was really hoping it was going to do by the midpoint, and it didn't. It started to win me back by the end, but by that point, I was a little bit 
a little bit lost for words. All that said, Tuesday, I think, is a solid drama that is gonna work better for everyone. As watching this, I still am interested to see what Pusik does next as a director. I think they were phenomenally directed. I'm just hoping that more in the style of these directorial veins don't pull away from the emotional core of what the film is building up. Again, it's gonna be different for everyone. Some people might enjoy it, some people might not. I thought the performances were good, but the story really just started to lose. Very interested to see what your guys' thoughts are down below in the comment section once you finally get to see the movie. So leave your thoughts down there. With all that said, I'm gonna give Tuesday a C. I don't know if I can fully recommend it, but I think if you're a fan of A24, you should check out Tuesday nonetheless. I'm not one that thinks that they'll dive back into this and rewatch it every so often or even dive in to its spiritual avenues, which is one of the things that really this film could have been my vibe and it just sadly lost me. But again, it's up to your guys' thoughts. That's what I'm excited to see. So thank you so much again for watching this. And of course, until next time, stay classy. Mm -hmm.